Welcome to Electrical and Instrumentation Engineering, a platform dedicated to sharing expertise and best practices in electrical and instrumentation engineering. I am Maruti and I am pleased to introduce this series of informative videos. Join me as we explore the latest developments, techniques and applications in our field. Welcome to the numerical feeder production release. Today we will cover under voltage, over voltage, over current and earth fault productions plus wiring diagrams and settings calculation. Let's start the video. Let us examine the feeder protection relay interface. Before wiring, ensure safety by grounding the relay. This prevents electrical shocks, power surge damage and equipment malfunction. Verify secure grounding before proceeding. Now, let us connect the current transformers to monitor the phase currents. We have three bus bars, R phase, Y phase and B phase. Here, CT specifications mentioned is 2500 bar 1 amps, meaning our CTs can handle 2500 amps primary current and step it to down to 1 amp secondary current. For accurate measurement and protection, we will add CTs to every phase, R phase CT, Y phase CT and B phase CT. Now, connect the CT secondary windings to the feeder production relay terminals. Connect CT secondary windings to the designated relay terminals, R phase, Y phase and B phase. Ensure CT secondary circuits are always closed and never left open. Return supply from CT secondary winding to be grounded. Now let's connect the potential transformers to the feeder production relay. We have R, Y, B bus bars, each with its own potential transformers. Here PT specification is 415 bar root 3, secondary side is 110 bar root 3. This indicates Primary voltage is 240 volt AC between line to earth. Secondary voltage is 63 volts between line to earth. Both primary and secondary sides are earth. Understanding PT connection is crucial for accurate voltage measurement. When measuring with a multimeter, primary side expect around 415 volt AC between RY, YB and BR phases. And secondary side expect around 110 volt AC between correspondence phases. Let us explore the interlocks within the feeder production relay. Interlocks ensure safe and reliable operation by preventing unwanted breaker closures. Notice the contact on screen which monitors the relay health. When the relay is unhealthy, contacts open, preventing breaker closure. When relay is healthy, the contact closes, allowing breaker to close if the close command is given. This interlock mechanism prevents breaker closure during relay faults or maintenance works. Ensures breaker operation only when relay is functioning correctly. Now, we will examine the trip command mechanism. When the relay detects faults, this contact sends a trip command to the breaker. Upon fault detection, the relay sends a pulse command to the tripping coil and initiates immediate breaker tripping. Please note. The duration of the tripping will be around 50 to 100 milliseconds. We will bring the relay to the life. We will apply the power supply source to turn it on. Power supply specifications voltage applied is 110 volt DC. Once powered, the relay will initialize its settings, perform self tests, and become operational, ready to monitor and protect the feeder. Now, explore the digital inputs to the relay. We have configured the two critical inputs breaker on breaker off. These inputs provide feedback to the relay confirming the breaker status. Notice the wiring diagram. Contacts wired in series with the trip coil and breaker close or open contacts. Ensure pre-closure and post-closure trip super circuit supervision. If the relay does not receive these inputs, it assumes trip coil failure. In this case, the relay will prevent breaker closure and trigger an alarm. Now, we will explore the configured outputs. One, breaker close command and second, trip coil failure alarm. Recall when the relay does not receive breaker on and off status inputs, it sends a trip signal from this output to indication lamp of trip coil or failure. Breaker close command is built in and programmable and it can be configured to send the close command upon specific conditions. This RS485 port in the interface enables connecting to the PC or laptop configuration and monitoring the relay using device software. Now, we will learn about the heart of the relay, protection settings and calculation. Start with the IDMT overcurrent protection. Let us calculate the IDMT overcurrent protection settings using this formula, where T is equal to tripping time. TMS is the 
time multiplier setting which is adjustable and we have set it to 0.5 seconds b is the constant for moderately inverse curve that is 0.0515 a is the constant for moderately inverse curve that is 2 and fault current is 2500 amps and pickup current is set as 2500 amps putting these values in the formula results trip in time to infinity that is no trip the moderately inverse curve characteristics are fast tripping during high fault currents and slow tripping during low fault currents. Let's recalculate the tripping time with a fault current of 3500 amps. Here the fault current is 3500 amps and rest of the values are same. Putting these values in the formula results tri tripping time will be 0.02 seconds that is 20 milliseconds. Now recalculate the tripping time with a fault current of 4500 amperes. Here also the fault current is 4500 amperes and the rest of the values are same. Putting these values in the formula results, tri tripping time will be 0.01 seconds that is 10 milliseconds. Recalculate the tripping time with a fault current of 5500 amperes. Here the fault current is 5500 amperes and rest of the values are same. Putting these values in the formula result, tripping time will be 0.006 seconds, that is 6 milliseconds. Let us learn the 51N IDMT earth fault protection calculations. Purpose of this production is detect and clear the earth faults in the power system. Let's calculate the 51N IDMT earth fault production tripping time. Here I have given the formula. Settings are Time multiplier setting is 0.5 seconds, which is adjustable. Pickup current is 250 amps, which is 10% of the full load current. Measured current is also 250 amps. For moderately inverse curve, the current constant B is a 0.0525 and the curve constant A is equal to 2. Putting these values in the formula results infinity, that is no trip. Now recalculate the tripping time with a fault current of 300 amperes. Here, the fault current is 300 amperes and the rest of the values are same. Putting these values in the formula results, tripping time will be 0.05 seconds, that is 50 milliseconds. Let's recalculate the tripping time with a fault current of 350 amps. Here, the fault current is 350 amps and the rest of the values are same. Putting these values in the formula results, tripping time will be 0.02 seconds, that is 20 milliseconds. Again, recalculating the tripping time with a fault current of 400 amperes. Here, the fault current is 400 amperes and rest of the values will be same. Putting these values in the formula results, tripping time will be 0.01 seconds, that is 10 milliseconds. Now, we will explore the 27 under voltage and 59 over voltage protection. First, 27 under voltage protection. Purpose of this production is to detect and respond to the voltage drops. And another protection is 59 over voltage protection. Purpose of this protection is to detect and respond to the voltage rising. Let's review the 27 under voltage and 59 over voltage settings. First, we will learn 27 under voltage settings. Here, bus healthy voltage is 415 volt AC. Pickup voltage is 373.50 volts, which is 10% below healthy voltage. Time delay is 0.5 seconds. This relay will monitor bus voltage continuously. Wait for a 0.5 seconds if the voltage drops to or below than 373.50 volts and sends a trip signal after the time delay. Now we will learn 59 over voltage settings. Bus voltage is 415 volt AC. Pickup voltage is 456.50 volts which is 10% above healthy voltage. Time delay is 0.5 seconds. This relay will also monitor bus voltage and wait for 0.5 seconds if the voltage rises to or above than 456.50 volts and set, send trip signal after the time delay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay updated with the new videos and tutorials.